Hey everyone out there in listener land, this here is Melissa Bryan, the one, only, and original Outlaw Psychic from Upqua Valley Psychic and Media, the Outlaw Psychic LLC in Roseburg, Oregon. How y'all doing this morning? The time now is 8.32 a.m. I'm going to be on for just a short while here before I do a reading for a book club. Yeah, I have my very first this morning, so I am really excited. A little nervous, but excited. This is also my final Paranormal In Review uh, podcast because uh, there's some things happening here at home I'm not at liberty to really discuss, but anyway, things are going a little weird around here. Maybe something got in that shouldn't have, we're not sure, but anyway, um, I'm going to have to cleanse my house out today, so yeah. Um, Really, all in all, all these uh, cases like For example, Portals to Hell, uh, Croke Patterson Mansion, Denver, Colorado. Uh, You know, this was validated flat out. And what I felt was um, that the residents, even in spirit, are just going about their daily lives. A couple of them don't know they're dead. They need to be crossed over. No surprise there. It happens. Uh, But moreover, they're just running their day-to-day lives like they normally would have in life. So, really nothing there to really see. Destination fear. Both prisons, they need to be cleared out. Um, Especially the babies and our little children, the little ones, they need to be cleared out because they need to go home to their mummies and daddies. Um, The adults, they have the majority of the free will to stay or go. And a lot of those souls, unfortunately, do need to go. So I'd like to, at some point, help them do that. Um, Especially the little kids, the little babies that want to go home to mom and dad. Yeah, they need to go. Uh, Ghost Nation. This particular plantation home, I don't remember the name right off. But anyway, I love the architecture, the feeling, the warmth. Um, and this was verified as well, that the owner's family and ancestors are there looking after not only just the owner of the property currently, but as well their former home. So this was in fact validated. Um, you know, Spirit has been really, really good to me, and I love working with them. I'm just not crazy about having things in my home that don't belong here. So I have to do a cleansing today, get that out of my way, get that out of my hair after all my work here. And so that's pretty much about all I've got to say. Um, You know, move on some of the old stale energies, make room for new fresh energy and um, call it good. So that's pretty much all from here. I'm sorry to have to keep it so short and so brief, but I've got a lot of extra work I've got to get done. Um, Like I said, I've got the book reading coming up for book club today at 9 a.m., so I'm really excited about that. Can't wait. Yay! Thank you, Facebook, for the opportunity. Um, and Facebook right now, I have to say, has given me a lot of opportunity to grow and expand my life and my work and my business and, um, be able to really do good things with it. I'm still working toward getting 1,000 likes on my fan page. I am stalled out at about 274 to go, so... I'm hoping that a lot of people will get up, get on, and get that like on there. It doesn't take very long. A couple clicks, you're done. I don't ask for a whole hell of a lot, so, you know, it is what it is. And I'm also stalled at about 154, I want to say, somewhere in there, uh, toward 10,000 uh, connections anywhere on my platforms. So what I'm hoping will happen is that I will be able to get um, more connections and, you know, the thing that had me really upset yesterday was that I got attacked again 
by the same people who are stalking me or same person for that matter and they called me a couple of really derogatory things like a poser and and a fraud and a fake and a phony and um you know they're the ones that drive me to negativity not the other way around so it sucks but there's not a lot I can do about it right now but one thing's for certain I'm going to be continuing to move on and move around and move on and move around and move on and move around and on and around and on and around and on and around again 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 over 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 again 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 you know it's kind of a treadmill cycle and with it being a treadmill cycle well, it is what it is. You just move on and move on and move on and you never stop moving on. You just keep running and going and going and running. A lot. All the time. It is what it is and I hate it to help, but, you know, what can you do? You just keep trying and trying. And I hope one day that treadmill cycle will come to an end. I hope. So, what can you do when you just can't do anything else? So, yeah. What can you do when you can't do nothing else? Oh well. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. And I hope that uh, today's a great day for all of us. Talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.